Now, going back to the book, um, he gets another visit from the colonel. The colonel comes up on the line. So the guy above above Chaffee in the chain of command comes up. Same thing, just looking at his trench, seeing what he's got going on. Back to the book. The colonel said, where are your machine guns? The answer was, I didn't know exactly. What I said was, they're down with the squads. The first squad has one, and the second, and the lieutenant. What bunkers are your machine guns in? Guns in. Do you know their fields of fire? How are they laid? Do you have aiming stakes in? No, sir. You should know, shouldn't you? Yes, sir. Then find out. Aye, aye, sir. The words floated in the crisp cold of the hill as the colonel hopped jauntily into his chopper and left. I got on the phone to call Chaffee. I told him. I thought I'd better since the colonel surely would. Chaffee didn't say much over the phone. Well, he said, I guess you better go out and chart your guns, hadn't you? Now, this is something, if you're in a leadership position and you get inspected up the chain of command, you, you and you say to yourself, oh, should I tell my immediate boss that something's gonna come back? Yes, you should is the answer. Yes, you should. Don't let your bosses get you. Don't ever want your bosses to get blindsided with something. Mm. Same thing, you know, in the military, we'd have guys get in trouble out in town. Yeah. And. Like get arrested kind or something like that. Get arrested, like that. Yeah. get in a, get fight, a fight, whatever. Now, this is, this is what I, how I would handle those situations. If I could contain them, right? If I could contain them myself and I could punish the guy myself and handle it at my level, I would do it. Mm. But if it was something that, that was going to get out of control, and if we weren't gonna be able to stop it, if it was gonna be in a newspaper or something like that, yeah. well then I'd tell my boss, like this is what happened. I had one of my idiot guys, went out, got drunk, got in a fight, went out, caused some problems, this is what happened. Mm-hmm. So that way he's not getting blindsided by it, he can prepare for it, he can have an answer, he can say that this is the punish that's being dealt out or whatever, get the thing handled. Yeah. So when something like this happens, tell your boss what's going on. Just, it's gonna be uncomfortable for those 12 seconds that yeah. it takes for you to get those words out of your mouth, once those words are out of your mouth, I promise you'll feel better. Yeah. You will definitely feel better. Yeah. Back to the book. Chaffee didn't say anything more. He didn't need to. But I knew there was plenty he would have said. There was plenty the colonel of the regiment would say to the colonel of the battalion who, in his turn, and in the hallowed traditions of the corps, would have a few words for Chaffee. I felt pretty bad. It seemed unfair a fine officer like Chaffee, a good man, should suffer because a green junior officer doped off. But it was the way things were and the way it had to be. Later in the day, Chaffee met with Phillips and the three platoon leaders. He stressed as a might a teacher in kindergarten the importance of basic things. The precise location of machine guns being only one of these fundamentals. He made no reference to the colonel, none to me. He simply reminded us of the things he wanted done and said he expected them to be done. Then he and Phillips loped off to look at something and the rest of us drifted back to our platoons. I wanted to tell the rest of them it was my fault we'd been lectured. I wanted to hug Chaffee for not saying so. These were mistakes that came with still being an amateur in a professional's war. So there's another just great example of leadership. He could he could hammer Brady and say, look, Brady did this, and he doesn't know what his guys are doing, and he didn't know where his machine guns are, made us all look bad. He didn't do that. Mm. No. No, instead he doesn't mention Brady's name. He tells everybody they gotta get stuff done. Now, does Brady wanna do better for him? Yes, he absolutely does. Yeah. He's building that, building up that leadership capital with his troops by not dropping dime on somebody and making out an example out of him. Now, is there times where you have to do that? Of course there is. Yeah. But this one was nothing major, right? A little stern talking to you from the colonel. Hey, I can absorb that. Not gonna, not gonna make Brady look bad, but... I'm going to build up that loyalty. Yeah. 